In the fall, when the first frost appear, male and female join to mate. Sexual activity of the male begins normally in late October and ends in mid-December. When females are in heat, they are receptive to male during about 24 hours. Males become agitated, they forget to eat, rub trees and follow females. attention of the females, box makes scrapes. They often urinate or defecate into these scrapes. Bucks attempt to copulate with as many females as possible. Antlers grow from May to August. Bucks shed their antlers when all females have been bred from late December to February. In the woods, we rarely found the antlers because small mammals chew them to gain minerals. The white-tailed deer can be found in North America, except for the Southwest, Northern Canada and Alaska. This mammal lives in deciduous and coniferous forest, bushy areas and fields. The gestation period lasts 200 days. Females give birth generally in May or June. When it's time to give birth, the female leaves the herd. After the first month, the fawn begins to follow the mother on foraging trips. The young usually weaned at about four weeks, but can eat vegetation earlier.
Female fawns may stay with their mother for two years. Males usually leave after a year. The white-tailed deer is an herbivore. During the summer, the diet consists of leafy material from plants, grasses, herbs and forbs. The winter and early spring are difficult times. The food supply is limited. Deer consume the buds and twigs of woody plants. The white-tailed deer molting two times a year. In September, the fine reddish summer coat is replaced by the coarse gray winter coat. When deer is alarmed, it raises its ears to better earring. The white-tailed deer will raise its tail to expose the white underside to warn other deer of danger. <laughs> 